Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, a four-year university located on the Central Coast. With a student population of around 21,000, the dorm environment is crucial in forming connections between first years who are required to live on campus. Cal Poly aimed to accept 4,500 students for the fall of 2019, and with a majority of these students living on their own for the very first time. Cal Poly requires on-campus housing to ensure everyone receives the benefit of the campus housing experience, according to University Housing. Over the course of Cal Poly's history, several student housing buildings have been built. North Mountain, South Mountain, commonly referred to as the Red Bricks, Sierra Madre, and Yosemite, or the Towers, and most recently, Yakitutu. While Poly Canyon Village, or PCB, and Sierra Vista Apartments are also student housing, we will be focusing on first-year dorms only. In each dorm, there is a community. Not just the learning communities that the students are placed into, but the communities that the residents form. Each dorm seems to have its own atmosphere. I live in the science and math learning community. Even though that's technically not my college, it's the um, area of my career that I'm interested in. I think the structure of my dorms has kind of negatively impacted the socialization of my floor because unlike some of the other Sierra Madre and Yosemite dorms, um, we're not really as close. There's no like central common room where everyone has to walk through to get to their rooms. I know some of the facilities in the rooms aren't the nicest, but I think that I've really gotten a sense of community here. Um, I've gotten really close to the people that I'm around and I think something that helps with that is the fact that we're all business majors or kind of going through all the same classes and taking the same curriculum, so it helps when you can go ask questions and just kind of um, study together and get to know each other better. Obviously the new dorms, Yagi Tutu, are like nicer and newer, but I think I'm still fine with living here in Yosemite. I've got a good group of friends here and gotten to know a lot of people, and I feel like that would be pretty hard to give up. You make the best of the situation that you're in, and everything will work out fine. And it seems that the design of the dorms have a major impact on that atmosphere. Um, we live in the new dorms, so like we definitely have better than other kids, but it's still kind of rough because like you're not like you don't really have your own space. Um, the only time you're really like alone is in the shower. Even then, you can like hear other people in the bathrooms. So that's kind of weird. The walls are very thin, even though like our rooms are like newer and stuff. They're still super thin. Like I can hear everything my neighbor does, which is like not good, obviously. To find out more about this, we interviewed a resident advisor in one of the older dorms who previously lived in the new dorms. My first year, I lived in Yahitutu in Nipumo. It was a really good experience just because the facilities were really nice and um, I really liked how clean and how new it felt. Um, it honestly like felt like living in a hotel. I used the living room mostly for studying. There wasn't really that much socializing, or there was some, but like not as much as I thought there would be. When we would use like the serenity room to like watch movies or hang out, like then I did feel that like community bonding and socialization. Right now I live in Sequoia Hall in the Red Bricks on campus um, as an RA. I definitely feel like a huge difference um, between the two like communities. I think maybe it's because of like how like small the rooms are, like the dorm rooms are. Um, it forces them to come out of their rooms and like socialize in the common spaces. But that also could be just because of uh, who the residents were. So what exactly is dorm life like? It has definitely made it more of an experience. Like it's definitely more memorable and um, definitely unique. It's like nice for a year because like I definitely think it helps you like be closer to like the people your age. RAs will talk about how like busy their on-call nights are because of like having to write up students. According to Cal Poly's master plan, the university's goal is to house 65% of students compared to just 37% that currently live on campus. With this huge influx of on-campus residents, university housing should be pushed to listen to the needs of the students when making decisions on how dorms will be structured. Nonetheless, as many of the students here say, it's up to the space you make. 